So last time I was on here, I told you I was going to give you some restaurant names for when you're visiting and meeting with me to look for your next place. <laughs> um, anyhow, so my first and foremost place that I would always send you to is Southport Raw Bar. It's a great little place, place on the intercoastal, so it is waterfront, which is really nice. They have the best oysters, in my opinion, of all of South Florida. I love them. Also, it's really cool because everybody knows you there, so I'm a regular, and it's it's just a great feeling to walk in and have everybody say, hey, Heather, you know, it's, it's just great. It's got a great vibe, and they do have live music on the weekends. Um, another place I like to go is Andy's Live Fire Grill, best burger in town, I think and they too have live music and it, that's always nice it's upstairs there's an upstairs area to sit as well and it's cool they have um live music up there um foxy brown is a staple in south florida you have to get their brunch their pancakes are out of this world and that's a really cool place and then last night i actually went to dinner at um, a restaurant called heritage and it's in Flagler Village, which is a really hip little place. My favorite cookie place, Batch Cookie, is there. Um, but the food was so good and the service was out of this world. It's small, um, but it definitely, it didn't have that like crowded feeling, but the, the food, the red sauce, every everything that I ate there was just to die for. It was so good. Definitely get the squash blossoms. Um, but that brings me to this. I mean, if you're moving somewhere, if you're moving where you don't really know things like like which schools you want your kids to go to, for example, or where to, um, which doctors, maybe you want doctor recommendations. And the other thing too, like ladies, you know, beauty stuff, where to get your hair done. I mean, my hair doesn't look great now. I just was shopping and it was uh, treacherous. Um, but you know, beauty stuff and you know like maybe clubs you might want to join or other other things that you might want in in your life here in in Fort Lauderdale it's always good to work with somebody who knows and can give you lots of different referrals and recommendations I think so, definitely somebody recently said to me they said well Heather you should go out and show houses to anybody even if they're not pre-approved and I was like well hmm, yeah no and I'm gonna tell you why. Because right now in the market that we're in, you can't go out looking at homes that you're not pre-approved for because that's like one of the main questions that, that list agents are asking. Oh, are, you, are your clients pre-approved? Well, it's a waste of everybody's time if the person is not. And I guess it kind of irked me that this person said that to me because it's really part of the business. Um, you know, it, it, it distinguishes a buyer who's serious versus a buyer who isn't. And and if I've offended you, I apologize, but it's kind of true. It's like, I don't want to go out and show you homes if you don't even know what you can afford. And here we are, that, that wastes my time. I'm spending all this time showing you homes and you don't even know if you can afford it. How is that a win for anybody? And so it really is important to be pre-approved before showing homes. And I know I kind of just jumped from restaurants to pre-approval, but this was something on my mind. I mean, I could go into the lady who wouldn't spray perfume on my friend, but yet would spray it on a piece of paper and let her go home with it. That made no sense to me at all. It, that That's weird, um, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> I got over it. Um, I just, think though it's it's definitely important in this kind of market right now that you are getting pre-approved I have a great lender that I can send you to and um, he I have all the respect in the world for him um, and he's he's a good guy so these are just some things that I'm thinking in my head if you're planning on moving here that that we could talk about and go over we could go to Southport if you like oysters we could share some oysters um, but here's, here's sort of my thoughts today and, uh, it's 1.45, it's already been a long day, uh, but, uh, anyhow, you have a great day. Bye.